Servus und hallo, my name is Luis from TNH Group and in today's video we will talk about the Saturn 3 12K Ultra which is the newest addition to my print farm. A quick side note about, the, about this review and the reviews coming forward is that I will not be talking, I will not be listing all the specifications that you can find on the website. I rather will talk about the user experience and or things that I have found out during the usage as I usually take some time to kind of test these products out really good. If you need the technical specifications, it is in the video description, uh, it's, it's linked, and then uh, you can read up on those. I will talk about the nice features that it has uh, in this video. And if you encounter any issues, like uh, your failed prints and you don't know how to deal with them, or um, your resin is not printing properly, or you have no idea about how you get from a file to a finished print, I have videos on those, they are linked in in the in the corner that's either to the left or right of me or in the video description. Following this video in the next months there will also be a video that uh, goes over this process of taking a file and printing it and finishing it and painting it uh, in greater detail but um, it is due to next month. So let's get started with this review. Now the first chapter is about why I chose this printer. The first thing is that I was in the market to get a new mid-sized resin 3D printer. I thought about getting a Jupiter or Jupiter-sized printer, but that was uh, one out of my budget and two not really needed currently. Most of the models that I print fit on the Saturn 3 size or even the Saturn 1, um, with that being the ancient uh, Dragons or like the Tiamat Mini from uh, MZ4250 and you want to ship those separately as not ship a box that's as big as my torso so you split them up and these split up parts fit on the build plate fairly well so that's like the size I need. The last resin printer I bought was the Saturn 1. Uh, I looked for an upgrade and there it was the Saturn 3. It was on pre-order. I looked at the specs, they sounded great, um, especially with the sub-30 microns. The most important feature that I was intrigued about was the Wi-Fi. Yes, <laughs> that, that's why I chose the Ultra instead of the normal. The, the Ultra adds the Wi-Fi capability and I really wanted to try that out. Like I like not having to walk a long distance to uh, start my print jobs. But that's because of my building. I don't have my printers right beside me and, and I advise you not to put your resin printers in the room where you work in. Anyways, that's why I chose the Saturn 3. What I usually have to do, get up, leave my, leave my flat, go over to, to the other door, open that, go into the basement, glove up, mask up, because I'm safe that way, um, double glove up, I forgot. Um, but before that, fish out the USB drive that's hopefully not sticky from resin, or else I will have to clean that off after taking it out and into my real hands near my normal computer. I will have to open my enclosure that I built to retain heat for better printing, especially in the winter, and then put the USB drive in, hit print, close it all up again, mask off, gloves off, ideally wash your hands, and then you're done. And with the Wi Fi, I slice and hit send and print. Sometimes this the send and print has issues. There are some states where it can't just immediately print, but I can send the files to the printer. And that is one when it's being iffy and the Wi-Fi connection isn't that good because we in Germany build non-Wi-Fi friendly walls sometimes and the storage can be full. Which is kind of sucky that it can't put in a 128 GB USB stick that costs 5 bucks and to extend the storage, but 4 GB is enough. You just have to go there periodically and select the ones that you want to delete. I had to do that once in the time I had it and I got it in August. I thought about going with Elegoo again, was I had, but by that time I had three well working printers. <laughs> now I have five resin printers and four of them are not working at the moment. <laughs> Ironic, because the Saturn 3 is not working at the moment, uh, but we will get to that in a bit. My original mask finally broke, uh, well, like rather the screen broke and I will not be fixing it because it's four years old. My Master Pro has a broken screen or motherboard, I will not be replacing that because I want mid-sized printers because they are more efficient at printing larger quantities of stuff, which I will do in the future. And the Saturn 3 has an issue with a, with a bolt 
being stuck in the threads and I'm getting replacement parts as we speak. So yeah, and uh, that all and Saturn 1 has also has motherboard issues. If that gets fixed, I have my Saturn 1, 2 and 3 because I bought a Saturn 2 working and printing for me. And in the future, I will either like stray away from Elegoo or uh, keep getting Elegoo Saturn 3 Ultras. As I have previously mentioned, I had to deal with customer service, uh, or like uh, I mentioned that I needed replacement parts, and for that you have to interact with customer service. And that can be a little frustrating, to say the least. I would consider myself an, not a total pro, but an expert or advanced user. Um, I have replaced motherboards, I have replaced screens, almost everything besides taking apart the UV light emitting array. Um, but besides that, I have done everything. I've taken things apart and I know my way around 3D printers, even FDM ones. I've built a Rhetoric V Minion, which you can see the very bad livestream of, and I've built a Voron V0 and I will probably build a Rhetoric V Core uh, 500 at some point, because I want slash need them. <laughs> I had to deal with customer service. The first time was, I don't know what happened, but through some dark magic that is unexplainable to me, some resin got into or like in between i think it was in between the glass and the lcd screen it died it looked like this so you couldn't print anymore and i had to fight with customer service or over that not not literally fight but uh, i was always nice and polite as you do please be respectful to customers customer service people i had to do it in order to get my printer printing again which is okay for a hobbyist machine, I mean, it doesn't cost that much. In my case, it was really very bad because I really need my printer up and running. And it's just really frustrating sometimes um, hearing from first level support that an issue with your LCD screen that you've diagnosed like to a 99% certainty um, and they suggest you update the firmware to fix your LED screen that has some resin backed on it and you have sent the pictures in the link in the first email and they didn't read it. It's just really frustrating sometimes. I know there can be some kind of language barrier. The a very very good thing is that you always get a response from the Elegoo support team, the technical support team. Sometimes it can be annoying to receive an email that they got your email, but they will be answering later. But there's a very very minor thing. They always reply. They reply very fast, at least if you are somewhat in the adjacent time zone, and they usually find your problem really quickly. And it kind of depends on how you work with them because I use WeTransfer to uh, send my video files to uh, my editor and and stuff so I have a good subscription there and I can send a lot of pictures and videos and they make you take a video and uh, pictures and I always do that and it's a very good customer experience they really help you out but sometimes the, the, the first level fixes can be a little bit outlandish to be honest. Hey, the printer is not super innovative or innovative or whatever. It's not. We're using screws to hold on the vat in 2024, where there are clamping mechanisms. <laughs> and there's a variety of ways to hold down the vat. And the solution with holding it down with screws, that you screw through the vat into a thread that is die cast, and has open holes in the bottom so UV light can cure it from the bottom and if you use better resin then 20 euro resin will cement your bolt into the into the thread and you cannot get it out it's shit last time i checked that never happened with my mars and master pro because they have a mechanism where you slide the vat in and screw it down there are other people or other companies that uh, didn't invent it they just use it because it's smarter they have a clamping mechanism that you can put the vat in you pull the clamps over and then you screw to tighten and that's what this printer should have most of the issues that i have with this printer are with the vat and the screwing system the lcd screen can be overlooked but the thing with the with the threads is bothering me not just a little bit i want to touch on acf um, as well in my opinion as a person that prints miniatures commercially, ACF ended. It's faster, it's likely to make my models look bad. So I changed over to PFA and not just 
China PFA in parentheses, of course you have good products as well, but I use my own. <laughs> Made in Germany and hmm, you can find more in a video that I should make <laughs> or on my website. Um, I make PFA sheets in all sizes, actually all sizes, small, medium and large. Uh, the large fits even the biggest of the large resin printers. I don't know why. ACF is a thing. PFA works great. I have used PFA sheets for half a year and they haven't shown a tear and it's and they failed because I did a mistake. Because I had to change out the screen, I found out that the screen is glued in. Not just at, at the corners to hold it in there so it doesn't slide around or get moved in packaging. No, it's cemented in. I had I have a iFixit kit. So I have this. This is like a shim. I have two. One is bent now because I couldn't get the screen out, the old screen. I had to take this, wedge it in, in there and then run it around the opening to try to get it out. Why? Just glue it on, on a couple of corners or don't glue it in and all. Gravity holds it in there and the tape you apply over it holds it in there as well. There's only pressing motion onto the screen. It's not gonna fling the screen into the ceiling. If you just fix it with a tape that you apply anyways, that's, is, that's also really annoying. And my last really big gripe is, there's no way to heat the resin in the printer. Other than the process, because the process of photo curing the resin, which we are doing in the printers, emits a little bit of warmth. Or the, like the components emit a little bit of warmth warmth as well. Why? We have good resins that need to be printed at 25C and above. With the Ultra that would be like a good way or like an Ultra 12K Pro Max Pro Pro. Please, you are capable engineers. Please find a way. It's not hard. Like if I can DIY a solution for it, like a big company should be able to do it. I know you can. There are some patented products, but you can work around that. Before we head into the conclusion, um, this video sounded pretty bad, like until this point. This printer is a real workhorse. Not crunched it or cranked it, as uh, Victor would say. I thought the jump from the original Mars, Mars 1, with, with an RGB screen to the Master Pro was a big jump. But holy shit, this was a big jump. Usually, I print with a layer height of 25 to 20 microns um, or 30, but not 50 microns. With a satin 2, that's also uh, with like a good faster printing resin, a print job for normal infantry that is, that is 28 millimeter scale takes about 6 hours. The satin 3 Ultra can do it in 2. I can knock out a whole army in one day if I want. with Swaltic fast, of course. It works. Like, what more do you need? Like, once Old World comes out, if you're playing Old World on on, uh, on the weekend and it's Monday and you have the printer and you have two bottles of, of resin, you can print your army and paint it if you are very eager to do that. No problem. It's a really good and fast, reliable printer that produces really pretty prints. All of my elves that I printed are printed on the Saturn 12K. I don't see layer lines or voxel lines. I could have used like a smaller layer height of 20 microns and turned on anti-aliasing, which takes ages in Lychee. <laughs> my conclusion about the Saturn 3 12K Ultra is it's a really good dang printer. Prints well, prints fast. It's reliable when it works. It offers a hassle-free experience. The storage could be bigger. The Because the system uh, that Elego uses is Linux-based, it is easy to make it available so that people can mod storage. It's not that hard. If I had 500, let's say I have 700 because you need some more appliances, and then just the printer, I would suggest this printer if you start as a hobbyist because it's easy. It's not in a very expensive eco system like Formlabs. The Wi-Fi is just a killer feature. I wish more printers would have that. Uh, I'm acquiring clients right now and I'm working on getting a print farm set up. And I'm looking for the printer for my print farm. Which this is... Hopefully. These issues have been very annoying. 
and like once you get some more wiggle room and you get some more printers and more ex uh, like spare parts issues like like a screen thing can like will be a little less impactful but if 50% of your fleet goes down because there's a hole at the bottom of the thread and it cured the resin in the printer it's annoying I can recommend this printer it's I'll stop the rambling for now I hope you found this video somehow useful if you have any questions about the printer about what resin settings I use feel free to ask it in the comments or hit me up on Twitter write me an Instagram you can write me an email you can write me a whatsapp you can call me if you want uh, it's all in the video description and on the website looking forward to 2024 with the new channel concept and uh, there are some more going on in the background but for you it means a video every month so and we are at the end of the first video of 2024 my name is Luis from teenage group i hope you print something and that you have no print failures i will see you in the next video tschüss und auf wiedersehen Middle.